Hello everybody, I'm Dave Kales and welcome to another review. Today we're going to be checking out the Dark Rock Pro 3. So this is a cooler for the CPU, uh, similar to the last cooler review I did. Uh, we're going to take out the box, see what you get. We're going to mount it to see how simple it is to mount. Um, again, I'm using the same setup as before and then we'll do some uh, cooling tests on standard and we'll also overclock the machine as well and do some more tests on there and show you the results. Alright, so here it is. This is the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3. This is with silent wings. This is uh, supposed to be a, a nice quiet cooling unit, obviously from the Be Quiet range. Let's get it straight out of the box so you can have a look. And then we'll get on to uh, mounting it and giving it a test. So straight away you can see that it's got this matte black um, brush steel finish. I really like the look of that. Let's get it out. So what we'll do is we'll flip it over. There we go. And... There she is. Awesome. So, yeah, it's got this nice black finish all over. I quite like that. Black fans as well. So as you can see, we've got one in the middle, one on the end there. Uh, pull through configuration. Even the heat pipes are slightly tarnished in this uh, uh, a darker, greyer sort of look. That's very nice. So it's just this plate on the top here that's actually um, been painted black. The sides are... Darker still, but uh, more of a grey sort of colour. A very nice looking fan, I like the look of this. Uh, especially if you're conscious about um, the way the inside of your PC looks. Okay, so let's see what actually it comes with. And I imagine, yes, we've got all the mounting units in here. So there's a bag of screws, uh, different mounts as well. And there's the back plate from underneath your motherboard. So let's get this mounted. Alright, so we're ready to mount the fan now. I've deconstructed this because you have to mount it from the back. So you put the back plate on and you have these little plastic clips just here and you have to bolt it from the back. So if you have a quick look at the fan itself, we've got the A and D bolts right here. Got a bit of thermal paste on already um, and that's how that goes. So very easy. It's going to be a little bit fiddly, I've already tried it. Um, so if you've got a friend to help you, make sure you uh, get them to come along. Remember to stick on your anti-static wristband because the last thing you want to do is kill your CPU make sure everything's unplugged as well while you're at it there we go and we're good to go okay so what we're going to do is quite fiddly <laughs> is basically line it up with the bolts this is probably the most fiddliest cooler mounting I've uh, ever had to experience but I'm sure I'll be fine so if I just grip it like that Make sure the holes are lined up and you just start to tighten them up. Obviously you don't want to tighten them up all the way. You just need to get a little bit of a grip so that you don't have to worry about how, hard, how tight you're holding this thing. Um, once they're on, you are good to go. So here are the results from the Dark Rock Pro 3 test this is on no power save mode so we had an idle temperature of 27 degrees uh, under load we had 43 degrees the fan rpm is uh, 1754 that's with two fans so as you can see with the other fans that we tested in the past it is slightly faster which would um give us the cooler results which is quite nice and um, on the overclocks the results were 54 degrees so pretty damn impressive compared to some of the recent uh, tests we've made so there we have it that was the dark rock pro 3 uh, from be quiet here it is right now still whirring away doing some stuff and um, i've been super impressed by this the results compared to um, some previous fans that i reviewed uh, uh, quite compelling it does have a faster rpm so that would explain why it's cooler uh, but obviously with the be quiet it's what they do they make quiet um like psus and stuff like that so they know they're in their industry um and I'm, I'm impressed with with the noise levels coming out of this thing there's two fans on there and it's pretty good i think it in comparison to the previous review uh, there was one in particular that just had the one fan which was relatively quiet i think they're kind of in par but obviously this is cooler because it has two fans. Um, so I'm going to give this um, 
a hardware heaven recommended. Uh, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's more to come and I'll catch you next time. Bye.